Welcome back YouTube, what's going on? It's Darian, this is Darian the Dev. In this video, we're gonna be doing another code challenge where we find out if a word is an isogram or not. So pretty much we're gonna take any word that is an isogram, which means that it has no repeating letters, consecutive or non-consecutive, and we're gonna create a function that determines if the string that they pass into us is either an isogram or it is not. If it does not have any repeating letters, then it is an isogram. And if it does have more than one letter that is the same, then it is not an isogram and it should return false. When I think about this, the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is make a, a string that holds a temporary letter. So I'm just gonna call it temp letter and I'm gonna set it equal to an empty string. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna choose to solve this problem by taking each letter in the word one at a time and then comparing that to every other letter after it in the word. And I'm gonna do that for every letter and then if we ever come across a situation where the letter that is our temp letter, if it ever matches any of the other letters in the string, then we know that the word is not an isogram and it's gonna return false. So uh, we're gonna wanna go ahead and make um, a variable for our return value and we're just gonna call it isogram so make it a boolean uh we're gonna make it an isogram and we're just gonna set it to true to start off so we'll say this word is an isogram by default or isogram is true by default and then one more time we're gonna make uh i'm gonna make another variable just called lowered and <clears throat> lowered is just gonna mean i'm gonna take the string they pass into us and i'm gonna turn all the letters into lowercase because this should not be case sensitive meaning that if there's a lowercase s and an uppercase s in the word, then we shouldn't get false for our word being an isogram because s and capital S, lowercase s, capital S are still s's, right? So it shouldn't think that those are two different letters and return us false. Um, yeah, so what we wanna do is make sure that uh, we take every letter in the word and just make it all lowercase so that we can just compare against them uh, as letters as opposed to is one uppercase, one lowercase and write an extra code. So we're gonna just take the string and set it to lowered, which is just gonna be the word that they give us and we're just gonna do two lower. All right, just make it nice and easy. Um, cool, so now we have a variable to store each letter in, which is gonna be temp letter. Isogram is gonna be true or false depending on if the word is an isogram or not. And then lowered is just gonna be the same word they pass into us, but it's gonna be turned into all lowercase words or letters. So now we're gonna have two for loops here. We're gonna have a nested for loop. So the first for loop is going to be to loop through each letter of the word and it's gonna set temp letter. So this first loop is gonna strictly be for our temp letter. So we're gonna say if int i is zero, i is gonna be less than lowered dot two string, or I'm sorry, lower dot length. Minus one, because again, um, the length of the string is going to be one more than what we actually want it to be because the first index of the string is gonna be zero. So again, if there's six letters in the string, then the index dot length is gonna be seven. So we're always gonna to wanna to do um, the name of whatever we're looping through dot length minus one to make sure that we are testing our for loop with the same number of iterations as the string actually has. So. That is what the minus one is doing. I'm gonna keep explaining that guys because I know when I first started programming, seeing those types of things used to throw me off and I never understood why people did minus one and stuff like that. So I'm just over explaining. I've done it in the last couple of videos too, but I just wanna overemphasize that so nobody thinks that it's anything special really. Um, so for each time we loop through this first loop, we're gonna to wanna to set the temp letter to be whatever uh, letter we're on at that point in the loop. So we're gonna say, Temp letter is gonna equal lowered dot or lowered i, so whichever position that we're at, dot two string. Okay, so we're gonna turn again. Uh, when we do lowered i in uh, the square brackets, we're saying that whatever the index of that um, of that uh, that's about this right. No, low word ed. So we're gonna say whichever index we're at in that you know, string, array, whatever it is. In this case, it's, it's called lowered. 
So whichever index we're at, take that letter and turn it into a string because right now it's a character, a char. So we can't put that into temp letter, which is a string. We have to also make it a string. So we're taking lowered I and we're saying to string to turn it into a string so it can now be stored into temp letter. So we got that taken care of. So now whichever word they pass us into str, we're gonna take the very first letter of that, turn it into a string and store that as our temp letter. So now all we need to do is check every letter after that in the string and we need to see if that matches our temp letter. So now we're gonna to wanna to start our second for loop, which is gonna happen right under temp letter and we're gonna say another for int, we're gonna say j equals uh, i plus one. And the reason we're saying that is because each iteration i is going up, i is counting. So i is starting out at zero at the very beginning of our word. So we want to always start checking our temp letter against the following letter after it in the string. So we don't want to check the same letter because obviously that's going to be the same, right? So if we did index of I compare it to index of J, but they both start at zero, then they're going to be the same letter, right? So then our, uh, our histogram is always going to return false in that case because it's always going to think that the letters both match each other. Right, so we don't wanna do that. So instead what we wanna do is say, J is gonna start at I plus one. So whatever I is, we're gonna start at the next thing to I. So we're gonna start, if I is starting at zero, which is the first letter, then we're gonna start J at the second letter, which is I plus one, all right? So we're gonna start there, and then we're gonna still do the same thing by doing J is less than uh, lowered dot length minus one because we still want to loop through every other word that still exists. And then we're going to say J plus plus. Awesome. So now what we're going to want to do is say if temp letter equals lower of J. So whatever index J is at, if it equals that letter, and we need to put two string because again, uh, lower J is going to come back as a as a char, and we want it to be a string so that we can compare it to temp letter, which is also a string. Can't compare a string to a char, so we need to be able to compare them both as strings. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna say if temp letter equals lowered of J dot two string, then uh, we're gonna say isogram is false because then that means that they have consecutive matching letters. So we're gonna say isogram equals false. Whoa, false. And then down here, we're just gonna return isogram. Now, don't forget, we don't need to, I know some people might be thinking, why don't you say else return true? Um, we don't need to say else return true because we set isogram to true to begin with. So by default, it's gonna actually be true. So um if i'm looking over all this guys i think this should be good so let's go ahead and check against this and there we go so we passed all these test cases you can see here uh by turning it into lower casing uh as soon as we get the word we turn it directly into all lower cases that helps us to pass the password test case where we have a lowercase s and uppercase s yeah, guys, if this was helpful, leave me some comments down below. Go ahead and like for me. Subscribe. It super helps me with just motivation to keep making videos for you guys. I really hope these are helpful. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you guys like these. And uh, I got some more content coming, so don't worry. I'll be uploading some more soon, you guys. But until next time, this is Darian with Darian the Dev, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?